So you updated your site and all of a sudden you'll see this terrifying error message on your site. Don't worry, in this quick tip tutorial I'm going to show you how to fix it within a couple of minutes. Now if this happens to you then first thing you need to do is take a look at the error message and you'll see which plugin or team causes the issue. At the moment I see that there is a Montonia card payments and it's a plugin Montonia that causes the issue here. Now there are two options. As you see this one here happens on my front end and if I go to the back end the same happens over there. That means I can't even access to my back end. Therefore I need to deactivate the plugin. I'm going to log into my FTP, open up my site, go to the WP content folder, open up plugins. And now, since I know this plugin is the one that causes the issue here, I'm going to rename it. Now, if I refresh it, you'll see that I have access to my backend once again. And if I refresh the frontend, I can do it also here. Now, I would need to fix the plugin here. So I'm going to go to the install plugins. You'll see that the Montonio is deactivated. I know that this version causes me the issue, therefore I need to roll back to the previous version. There are two ways for me to do that. First, I'm going to go to the plugin page, open up the advanced view, scroll down, and there is a please select a specific version to download. I'm going to select the previous version, download it, save it. I'm going to unpack it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete using my FTP. I'm going to delete the previous version and I'm going to upload the new version. Now if I refresh it, I'll see that the previous version has been installed. Now if a word FTP sounds for you like a foreign language and you don't know how to use it, then don't worry. You can do it also using your hosting server service. That is, if your hosting uses cPanel, like the one you see on the screen right now, then open up a file manager. It's here. If you don't find it, then just search for it. File manager. Open it up. Go to the public HTML file, W content, plugins, and you can do it here. Right click for rename or select it and delete it. If you would like to upload it, then there is also a upload option here. Click on it. What I usually tend to do is I'm going to upload a compressed zip file. It's uploaded. I'm going to go back. Now I'm going to select it and extract it because it's going to take me less time than upload everything one by one. Now I'm going to reload it and the plugin is here. So this is another way to do it. But if this is too technical for you, then there is another option. That means go to the plugins, add new, and search for WP Rollback plugin. This one here. Install it and activate it. Now if you go to the plugins menu, you will see there is a rollback option here. So once again, I'm going to rollback the Montonia plugin here. And all the versions are displayed here. I'm going to choose this version and I'm going to click on rollback. It says that it's recommended to, to create a complete backup since I already did it. I'm going to press on rollback button here. Now it's going to take a couple of seconds to install the previous version. I'm going to activate it, go to the checkout page, refresh it, and I'll see that everything is working well. You can also roll back your teams. For example, if I go to the appearance and I'm going to open up my Bloxy team, then I'll see there is a rollback button here. So if I click on it, I can roll back my theme to the version I want. And as I promised, within a couple of minutes, your site is back up again. Now, before you go, Wait, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here, and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.